Hello and welcome, my beautiful lions, my Leos. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 26th to March the 3rd, 24th. Can you, you know, the year of 24, can you imagine that we're saying March already? It's less than 30 days is going to be spring. First day of spring is usually the 19th or the 20th of March. So time just keeps marching by quickly. But we have spring to look forward to new beginnings, new birth, rebirth, all those wonderful things. So let's see what we have here for your reading. Starting off, you have been given the card drama. And this came up for somebody else. And for the life of me, I can't think of who it is. But anyway, uh, this you may be dealing with some drama this week, which could be uh, something that that maybe you created or somebody else around you might have created some drama. Um, this is a card that says you need to communicate, okay, because you've got the card communication is key. Uh, if you're in a situation where things are a little bit uncertain and things um, are you know, they're not clear, things are being taken out of concept, anything like that, uh, that's going to stir up your emotions where you're not going to be able to feel positive and move towards your goals this week. So something may be coming into play, it could be at work, it could be in your personal life, it could be in relationships and friendships, but there is going to be some drama here. As I had said, coming in with your first oracle message and first energy message, you've got communication is key. So this is the new moon in Gemini. So maybe you're dealing with a Gemini that could be, you know, you might be having some drama with. Uh, but this is all about you making sure that you sit down and you talk things out. You get closure. You're able to lay the cards on a table in a fair and equitable manner. Give and take, push, pull, negotiating back and forth uh, to, to discuss something here so that you can find a resolution to resolve this drama. Um, sometimes we just walk away from it. If somebody's having a bad day, that type of thing. But I think you're going to be drawn to want to discuss this situation with somebody so that you can get closure with it. You both can see or the powers that be you're dealing with here with this drama will be able to see clearly. Okay. But I think it might be with another energy. It might be another person. It could be a female energy got the house that's all about structure stability security feeling good within your life right now so that you could be feeling very secure in a position where you feel at home uh, in this position in a situation in your life right now but the home is that card of structure moving forward feeling safe and feeling uh, that you're in a really good place. So some of you could be buying a house, moving into a house, renovating a house, just feeling really secure that things are good within the home base. Okay, so maybe the family unit, maybe uh, your, your, your soul pod, your tribe within that house is going to be more secure, more harmonious and better for some of you. Again, some of you could be looking at houses. Maybe you're wanting to buy a house. Maybe you're wanting to sell a house. Maybe you're wanting to rent a house or a new home in general. Now, we have the mask, and the mask is that card that says beware, because somebody could be the wolf in sheep's clothing, somebody could be hiding something, only telling you what they want you to hear. Uh, they, this is almost like having a split personality. Uh, they're one thing or they're another. Um, the, the truth does come out, though, at the end of the day. Uh, this is about keeping your eyes open to being able to pay attention to the drama that somebody could be bringing into you this week and you know beware of that trust your instincts your intuition here my beautiful leos because this is a card can be the card of deception too uh so beware of that and be sure and clear of what it is you want as well when communicating with somebody you know this is about also choices and decisions do i go left do i go right do i choose this do i choose that you could be at a crossroads as well but i always look at this as being careful some Somebody may not be telling the truth, the whole truth, so help them God, that type of issue, okay? Now, coming in in your first row, we've got the Death card, we've got the Seven of Cups, and we've got the beautiful Ten of Pentacles. Something's going to end, uh, something's going to be completed, uh, something's going to be finalized. So uh, there's definitely something ending here so that there can be a rebirth and new beginning. Uh, this can be anything. It can be the end of a job project, uh, it can be the end of a, you know, a, a group, a club you, you were in, it could be the end of, maybe you're, you know, you're moving out of one house and into the other. You're going to be walking, out, closing one door and opening another to a new home. 
Um, for others, it could be the end of anything here, okay? Relationships, friendships, whatever. Uh, but the universe says things inevitably have to happen, and, he, and you need to embrace a new beginning. You need to realize that for everything, there's a reason, and now you're able to be free and move forward in a brand new direction. And to look at your future with promise and excitement and, and um, creativity. The Seven of Cups says you will be overwhelmed with lots of choices and decisions that could be coming down your path this week. Um, and you're always cautioned to pick the to really take a hard look at what it is you really want and then you're able to make a final decision on what's going to last you the test of time what's going to bring you to your greater uh, your greater good and what are the benefits in it that are going to be better for you then you're going to be able to make this decision but it could be life altering and changing the ten of pentacles says if you do make the right choice you're going to hit the jackpot because this is happiness happiness in relationships your home life uh, you know I said that here with a house card uh, you know feeling that circle of security within the family base but also it means that you're going to have financial security as well because it is the pentacles and pentacles often have to do with the material part of our life and there will be enough money here I see that you're going to find that things will be plentiful things will work out in your favor for some of you this is a new beginning moving forward where you're going to find you're finally going to feel really happy in a situation in your life now coming in in the center position could be the middle of the week or what you're feeling now, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Let's jump right into that. Remember we talked about drama. Remember we talked about the, you know, the mask. So somebody here, and look at the big mouth on the crow or the raven and the big mouth here on the bottom. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who, uh, it's, it's, it's a card of deception, liar, cheat, you know, liar, thief, cheater. Uh, the person that definitely skulks around and tries to pretend there's somebody that they're not. Uh, they could be ghosting you, following you, watching you, wanting to ride on your coattails of experience and also success. Uh, you know, sometimes I look at this and I think that, you know, it's crying over spilt milk. Somebody in your past doesn't like the fact that you're happy. Um, and they're, they're you know, wishing that they could stir the pot up here. But I do believe that at the end of the day, they get caught. Light gets shone on them and get, they get found out. So this could be anybody in your life. It could be an ex you know, friend or, or uh, relationship you are in that's a bit jealous and they, they don't want to let go. Uh, or it could be somebody who you need to be careful of. Keep things under lock and key, my friends, that you're afraid that someone might be getting, putting their, have privy to their hands and their eyes. You might not want them to know. Also, they're telling me, keep things close to your chest. Don't go telling everybody who you think you can trust information that should only be private for yourself or those you truly trust um, because they may have ulterior motives. Now, the Nine of Swords says, you, you you know, you could be worrying about this situation. Maybe you're suspecting it. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, there's somebody around here or somebody has deceived you, betrayed you, lied to you, whatever the case is. And you're carrying all that horrible energy to your bed at night. This is a card that says, leave those worries on the chair. You need to get your rest. You need to be running on all your energy levels and your, and so you can vibrate at a level to deal with any stress or drama this week. So do whatever it is to stay positive, move forward, believe that you're going to come out of this because at the end of the day, you're making the right decisions and choices. You're planting your seeds for some better future for you. And I do believe that something here may have ended. Uh, and now you're able, you, you can give up worrying and you can move forward into a new beginning here. You might have made a call. You might have put out a proposal, an idea, a resume, anything like that. And you're waiting to hear how it was received and how they're going to react to it. This is a card also that says be patient. Don't worry. You've done everything right. You'll hear. Uh, whatever it is you've done, Leo, just wait it out, okay? Uh, it, you'll find that everything you've done is right. Don't question your motives because you've done everything right here, okay? The bad guy gets caught at the end of the day, and you're not the bad guy. Okay, coming in at the end here, the end of the week, you've got the Eight of Cups, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and you've got the High Priestess. You know, similar to this uh, Seven of Pentacles here, you are definitely planting your seeds to go towards something here new. And this is all about you putting your hands to things and watching uh, whatever you nurture grow, okay, expand, come into fruition, uh, produce a harvest for you, per se. Uh, this is a card, again, of patience. Uh, she's like Mother Earth. 
I mean, she plants her seeds, she waits until the gestation period's up, and all the elements of nature can create a beautiful plant. And this is about, you know, planning your moves for your future here, making the right choices and decisions so that you can end up in the right place you want to be. You've had to go through some drama here to get there, but I do believe you're going to feel security again within yourself or feeling at home in a situation. And you'll be able to put this drama behind you, okay, and move forward in a new direction. <clears throat> this is about you being patient, waiting it out, and you're and planting your seeds for a new future. The high priestess says you're going to do the research. You're going to delve deep. You're going to work hard. You're going to apply your blood, sweat, and tears to find out what you need to know. And then you can sit there calmly and say, hey, you know, done and done. So this is what she does. She she looks into her future. She She's very intuitive. She's psychic. She is able to look in behind the scenes and do her research to get whatever information she needs so that she can sit calmly and know she's done everything she needs to do, which is what you're doing in some sort of situation here this week, Leo. So just sit back. You're planning a move and you want to go forward because, you know, not only does the death card tell us that, but the eight of cups says you're trying to take yourself from here to here. So you want to be balanced. You want to be take yourself to center. You've worked really hard. You've fought really hard. You've had some battles to, to win and to get over. And you're leaving something behind. You don't have to stay in a situation you're not comfortable in. You have that ability to get up and walk away from it. You know, it shows her walking through the fire, heading towards a beautiful new sunrise, a new beginning. Okay, notice how the sun's ahead of her and notice how the death card has that beautiful vision of a new future, a new beginning, something better. So this is you planning on leaving a situation going forward in a new direction but again it takes time okay you're in the planning stage you're still waiting for things here to come in you know here you are waiting okay but you're doing the right thing and you are going to leave a situation you want to get away from that drama you want to have security again in your home life and you've had to make some pretty heavy decisions to do this and at the end of the day guess what the bad guy gets caught and you're right okay so that's the way I look at the, the mask and I look at the Seven of Swords, you know. <clears throat> at the end of the day, there's good and evil, right? And the darkness and light. And the darkness is always going to lose over the light, okay? So things are going to work out here for you. It's just taking time, okay? You just have to be patient here. Let's see what we have coming in with the Death card. You have the Justice card. Woo, something came down. So maybe there was a legal dispute. Maybe it was a divorce, a separation, some sort of uh, fight that you had to battle, you had to go through in a legal part of things. The Justice card says justice is going to be served and waived in your favor. Things will work out. It's karmic justice too. Okay, and that means at the end of the day, I told you, the bad guy is going to get seen for who they are and you're going to move on from it and go in a new direction and you're going to be able to celebrate something here. You could be moving on to a new home because this is the four of wands, security again in the home life. Uh, somebody could be moving back home. Um, yeah, this can be the card of celebrating anything, an accomplishment that you've made, making the right decisions and choices here to change your life and move forward in a new direction. But it can also be the announcement of something like a wedding. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, you have the Two of Wands. <clears throat> Collaboration, partnership, getting together with somebody else, not doing things all on your own. It could be a friend, a soulmate, a business per partner coming in for you to give you, uh, to help you work towards your goals, has the same vision, has the same interest as you. And together uh, you can create a really strong partnership here. Um, this is about, you know, maybe traveling for business. Maybe you're going to be planning a trip as well to go abroad or do something for business. Coming in with a Seven of Swords, you've got the Eight of Swords, you know. <clears throat> Yeah. On top of this uh, Seven of Swords, you get the Eight, and, and, and they're telling me that you felt as though you were tied down. You couldn't see the trees for the forest. Uh, you felt that the worst was going to come out of a situation. It was never going to get better, but all of that is brought on by your own karma in your head. Okay, when this Eight of Swords shows up, it says, get out of your head. Step out of your own way. Don't allow yourself to bring in all that negative karma, which is only going to make things worse. So open your eyes, they're saying, see the picture for what it is, accept the truth for what it is, and move on. Because you're going to be able to do that. You don't need to be stressing over somebody who's deceived you. The Queen of Rods shows up and says, yeah, 
you're making a big decision to move somewhere and do something you're focused on something she's the most confident queen out there and also you know i've told you she's the one that flips the bird at everybody who doesn't listen who, who doubts her who says oh well it's not going to work out you can't do it it'll be a failure whatever you're going to fall on your face you know what she looks at them and she's fought a hard battle and she stayed focused because her counterpart is the king of wands and he goes big or he goes home doesn't allow anybody to leave their opinion on his doorstep and so she's moving forward she's definitely going to walk away from this situation that created drama in her life and she's determined to see success come into her life this next leg of the journey the seven of pentacles says yeah you're going to be waiting around for something here because you've got the four of swords on it um it says you know just call the truth stop obsessing and worrying what am i going to hear what are they going to say how do they think what are they going to do what do i expect okay stop stop bringing drama into your own life with your headset uh what you're thinking this is the card that says pull back okay take a rest uh call a time out um, call a truce for now and don't make any rash decisions or choices at this time coming in with the eight of cups moving on in a new direction uh taking its time though you have the seven of pentacles yeah that's twice you've got it here see okay definitely you've worked on something hard here uh working towards your goals waiting for something to come in you've done everything right you're going to see uh, something will come in will allow you a new beginning to go in a new direction and uh, it could be a new job a new a new you know different position coming in with the queen of pentacles you have the two of cups uh this could be nurturing a relationship that's going to grow into something better because this is the queen of cups what she nurtures she sees come to fruition right she's she's got that ability um you could be you could be getting together in partnership and friendship a soulmate or a love mate uh this is about being balanced making sure that you make you know you're you're you've got your you're taking your head with your heart this time okay so think logical uh don't let your heart lead your way okay but this could be somebody new coming in that you're going to fall in love with or you're going to take a, a, a relationship to the next level or there could be forgiveness and the, re the revival and renewal of a relationship coming in with the high priestess we have the moon moon is indicative of pisces energy you could be dealing with a beautiful water pisces um but this is a card that says you may still feel that there's secrets in the background that have to be revealed and they will you need to trust your gut instincts and, and your intuition and also know that you have all that you need in your database to research something and go after it uh keeping your eyes open and you will be able to see the truth revealed sometimes there's a secret that comes out when we get this card wow well my beautiful leos this is your reading for this week of february the 26th to march the 3rd and it looks promising there is going to be some drama but i think you're going to work your way through this and communication is key in any situation when you're doing negotiations or bartering back and forth um there could be a legal situation that does uh, finalize and work out in your favor but you know at the end of the day they see the truth for what it is i mean you've got the deception card here that seven of swords you've got the the mask here coming in um you know definitely the truth will be revealed and it's it's been a long road for some of you to walk away and turn your back on it but you finally come out ahead of the game you've got a brand new beginning endings and new beginnings and a reason to be happy and celebrate well have a wonderful week prosperous happy healthy and about bountiful and know that i always send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon my beautiful lions